To get a sense of how the Indian American community and Indian businessmen are looking at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the United States, we're joined by leading American hotelier Sun Chatwal joining us now. Uh, Mr. Chatwal, you've seen many visits from Indian uh, leaders to the United States, including Prime Minister Modi's previous visits. I remember uh, speaking to you in 2014. What, according to you, is the difference between past visits of other leaders, including Prime Minister Modi, and this particular visit? This is something really strange. Having met Mr. Indra Gandhi, Rajivji, and also Bajpai Sahib, and what I see over there, it is entirely different show. I, we have never seen so much that, uh, thanks to leader Mr. Modi, a very honorable Prime Minister Modi, he really brought India into the world map. Because when you really see over there, India is India, they were just treating like, yeah, okay, India, but not now. No, everybody knows, they recognize, even look at the Prime Minister of Australia, they get together, and he was saying very openly, my God, who's the real boss? Prime Minister Modi is the real boss of the world, which is great news. And also, I'm watching the comments that Joe Biden, when he met with Jesus over their conference, he mentioned to him, my God, what have you done? It's so popular. All tickets for dinner are sold out, which is true. People have been calling me and see, and everybody wants to go over their dinner, meet, and have special relation of India. i never seen the history where the people are leaving China, big companies, like Apple, other things over there, but also India is on the world map. We are very grateful to Prime Minister Modi. I have uh, seen so many Prime Ministers coming up, making trips, and including Dr. Munmohan Singh, Nikol Pavadi, other things, but over here, he has made a big, big economic impact over the India, and they, everybody knows India is very independent. They are not going to take side, whether it's uh, Russia or China or uh, West or anybody else. Of course, they want to build a very balanced relationship, but they want to make the relationship with their own terms and conditions, which nobody could dictate. So as, you, a, as an Indian-American, I feel very proud of that. So you're highly networked with a lot of the congressmen. It's not just the Biden administration. In the United States, a lot also depends on the view in the U.S. Congress. How do you see uh, American legislators look at the India story, especially given the fact that on quite a few important issues like Russia, like Ukraine, India hasn't fully been on the U.S.'s side. India has been taking an independent foreign policy position, which many on the Hill don't seem to like very much. I, I fully agree with you. Rees, uh, Senator uh, Schumer, who has been a friend when he was a congressman, senator, leader of the House, I told him, so man, let's go to India, India. He, he took a trip with a lot of senators in India. When I came back, I met him. He said, wow, oh, my God, you have been telling me Chato to visit India for the last 20 years. India is an entirely different country, different world. And they are the ones they inspired for him to come and, and come over, especially visit for the state dinner, not state dinner, also address both the houses there. This is something, great honor. And when we talk about senator or congressman, those who are visionary, those who understand India, they see the changes coming up. We got to go with the right side in order to win India. I know India has a relation with China, India, Russia especially, and a country like Europe. And the oil deal come, they came up very openly. And I must give a compliment to Prime Minister Modi because what is best for India? The, five, the oil prices didn't go up. Other could have been a problem. They made a great deal to go along with that. No, America does understand, but in the meantime, America's first time I see, they are more keen to develop more relations with India than it was ever before. Especially on the question of China, as you speak to a lot of uh, people in the American business community, are you seeing a greater desire to look beyond China for manufacturing and actually consider India as a serious destination for manufacturing? Absolutely. Things have changed after this, what is happening over there, what China is doing right now. And also, also, I give a credit to Prime Minister Modi, they open up India. All these major companies, when they're going, whether you want to land, whether you want other, other facility, big company, Apple and I can name Fortune 500 company, everybody wants to go to India because language is not the problem, location is not the problem, labor is not the problem. We are proud that they can see you have 300 million Indian aged from 20 to 35, you can't find anywhere else, and all English speaking. And that is a major attraction where more and more companies will leave China, go to India, 
because I feel very safe and secure over there. That's the way I feel. Thank you very much. It's good to see the kind of optimism you're exuding about the India story and you've tracked the India story in the United States for very long. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. great to see you and it's a great honor to see that you come over here, especially you have been so many times. Prime Minister Modi, this trip is very unique and special trip. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.